So I think it's time we chop this up. It's nice to see Logitech took, took some innovation away from us. Maybe they do watch in secret and think, ooh, that's a good idea. Or could I had designed that in? The old cash grab special, do you reckon, mate? I mean, if, if I had a super light, I wouldn't be changing it for a super light, too. I actually prefer having, I personally prefer being able to change the switches. I've not been a fan of Optomax, as you know. These ones are not bad, though, for me, but for other people, they're probably too heavy. They won't be very good for spamming these Optomax. Maybe they'll be slightly better with a bit of a pre travel cell tweak. Can get a little bit lighter. I think what's going to help now is people who couldn't afford a super light are now going to get cheap super light now because they reduce the price. So that's good. Or a G Pro wireless. Right. So let's do a destructive mod now on this super light too and see how light we can get it. We know we can get to 54 grams pretty much. So I'm expecting like. I'm thinking we can get this to maybe 45 pretty easily. We have done a 45 gram super light before. We're going to have to work out how we're going to do it first. So let's have a look. Let me start on this first. Skeleton first. Be careful up here. We don't trim it too tight here. more off it was it like 7.3 or something just over a gram off it oh, i mean we're not doing to this we've already done about 400 of these and there's no difference there really Trimmed out all the little bits. Stock base. I took the sticker off the nose part of the tear down here. Fail does. Right, just to drill out, but this is what it's like without that part, if you're interested. I had to drill, baby. Pretty much the same cuts as the super light two at uh, one side. We'll take a little bit further, but not bad. Four and a half grams. So close. Take out the top bits and the skates if you want. Depends, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. 4.47, 4.42, you were close, sir. You were close. 
The original super light was so efficient it'd last seven days on 100 milliamps. So let's say you get three days out of this in 2K, then I'll turn it on. USB C, it will be fast anyway. Now I'm not going to cut my 290 battery. Original one, this is a super light one, same connector, same cables. I'm just going to use this one so we can keep the 290 in stock, but up to you. Stock battery, 100 milliamp battery. All right, I think it's time to put it back together then. Let's have a go. See what we're working down the weight to. I reckon 45 stock skates, and then I reckon we might get a little bit lower with the dots, maybe 43 with the dot. This is where it's changed. So, on these side buttons, it's got these little, little fins. Not quite see them, but see them there. That's what's stopping it pushing all the way in, because this is a super light original shell. We've got some bits in it, but you can see there's no, no fins. You see, there is a different side button. Didn't reduce the screws, or maybe they reduced a couple, but it still feels like there's the same amount of screws. You definitely take this a little bit further if you want to not give it the stock look. So have a little bit of a flex in the back, which we have on some of the one. You can glue it. I always run a bit of glue on the back and then that seizes it. Just over the front switch, which is the front skate. So it looks like now we've tweaked it. And then 49. I mean, it's pretty much the same as the super light. One in it. Take these off. More like that. Forty six. We've had a few super lights at forty six. 